the OGT here on a kind of somber, sad day. Um, we had a great guitar player pass away yesterday. Um, actually, two days ago, it's a little bit after midnight. But, um, yeah, Jeff Beck um, passed away. I think he was in his 70s. Um, the manager of the channel, my partner in crime, best friend, O.G.L. Schmidt, has, um, has had a rough time with this because he, he was very much, a I grew up with this man. Not, not like, you know what I mean, listening to his music. I was familiar with all of it, you know, one of his favorite guitar players. And there are a lot of guitar players. So, that being said, I will play you a video from OGL and give you some context. So, all right, GL Schmidt here. Uh, yesterday, legendary guitarist Jeff Beck passed away. We lost another legend. We lost another one of those old guards that is going to be forever missed and never replaced, and that sucks. Uh, this one hit me particularly hard. However, I asked Danny to react to People Get Ready by Jeff Beck and Rod Stewart because this song pretty much single-handedly changed the way that I view music. A uh, bit of context, uh, this is probably between 1988 and 1990. Uh, my father had passed away a couple years ago. My family had moved into a new apartment. And uh, this is before Spotify. This is before YouTube, before Netflix, before streamings, before every piece of art ever created in the world was available to be beamed into our homes at our convenience. So my mother had purchased a small cable package, basically so my sister and I could watch MTV. MTV basically being the YouTube of my generation uh, and my musical background was almost entirely uh, Beatty's pop uh, Phil Collins, Madonna Aha, uh -huh, that sort of thing and I still love that shit y'all can come at me I still listen to that shit to this day but things like rock or metal and, you see I knew nothing about the ways of the electric guitar back then basically uh, so one night People get ready, video comes on while we're watching MTV, and after every verse, uh, Jeff plays like a 16 note melody. It's simple as can be. It's four ascending notes, it's repeated three times, and then it's repeated again, basically descending the same pitches. Uh, really simple. But, uh, the sound. You know, I'd never heard anything like that before. Uh, I just sort of sat there slack jawed and I think my family was like, you okay? And I was like, yeah, this, this is amazing. And uh, when the song was over, I concluded that that, uh, Jeff Beck's guitar sound, like that has got to be what heaven sounds like. Yeah, that, that is heaven in sonic form. So that led me to seek out more of Jeff's work. Uh, that led me to buy basically every guitar album that I could. This led me to guys like Joe Satriani, Steve I, Ingray Malmsteen. This, of course, led me to rock and metal. And this actually just sort of took me into all sorts of musical directions just because I wanted to recapture that, the feeling that I got from hearing that. Uh, and <laughs> that's a journey I'm still on to this day. So I've got Jeff to thank for that. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. Uh, thank you very much, Danny Lee OGT, for doing it. And... Uh, Rock in paradise, Jeff. I stopped the video and made a video for him because I had no idea. So I thought I would... <laughs> He's an introvert, right? He just recently started putting himself on video. Probably don't mean pointing it out in this video, but it is what it is. We speak truth to each other. We don't lie to be kind of each other's feelings. Then find out somebody lied to you two months later and you blow up and you're like, well, damn, you betrayed me. When you could have just told the truth. 
The truth hurts sometimes. It does. But lying is way worse. You're not saving their feelings. You're saving yours. So you don't have to have that hard conversation. So think about that, guys. So anyway, I see him a video. Yeah. Yeah, it's ready. Actually, my coffee's ready. So. <laughs> but that, I stopped the video to... to yeah. I told the truth. <laughs> so, in the words of the late great Lane Staley also, um, I will speak no more of my feelings beneath. Now, let's, let's honor Mr. Beck. Jeff Beck. Um, a good friend of mine, Jimmy T, told me that without Jeff Beck, there would have been no um, Jimmy Page. Um, and also practice a lot with Randy Rhodes. Yeah, you meant what I knew. All right, that's what that's the thing me and Greg do all the time. I, I used to couldn't stop saying it every time. I'd say, you know what I mean. By the way, my brother, big bad biker brother, older brother, um, always looked up to him. <laughs> he told me he said, um. <laughs> He said, you, man, you said that wrong. You said that you meant what I knew. I said, yeah, I meant to. It took a minute. He walked away. I was thinking, he'll get it later. <laughs> he did, but I'm sure he wouldn't tell me about it. It's like riding a moped. They're fun, but you don't tell your friends about it. All right. Um, the context uh, Gregory, or I guess you already know, cat size bag now, Greg's his name. And it's GL Schmidt, but it's OGL Schmidt in the Discord. And look, if we get enough subscribers, we're going to open the Discord. I got a dartboard with all kinds of cool shit on it, but I got to I gotta have money to buy the cool shit. <laughs> I literally live off like 950 bucks a month. I do have a nice Mustang, but here's the thing. I uh, had a little side hustle. Not really a hustle. I was filling up ATM machines. But it was kind of scary because big lots of cash. Huh? Right here in the Mustang. But I took the two money, the two checks that I got from stimulus because I never got the middle one. Still to this day, nobody knows. You know, it's out there in fucking ether somewhere. Sorry about YouTube. Don't want to discuss it anymore at all. Or that's what I heard. They said it. You know how they are. Um, so, yeah, whatever I just said is true. Um, let's do this reaction now. Oh, I gotta read the context. Man, this video is gonna end up being an hour. All because of a cookie. All right. Toologan. Yeah, I love that name. Toologan. What? Toologan. Um, gonna react to Jeff Beck. My parents back. Let's get this going. Got you, Greg. MTV, ah, man, my biggest fan. 
Sorry, bro. See my ass. Ah, uh, it's my fan. Blowing the microphone. So, yeah, that, uh, if you never heard electric guitar and MTV back in the day, I, I remember MTV, Greg's a little bit older than me. I remember when Michael Jackson's Thriller come out. Um, I remember when Poison and Ice Ice Baby was popular. I'm glad the music wasn't playing when that happened. Um, so, forgot to turn the notifications off. Anyway, those, those chords, the band in, sitting in a, a boxcar. My dad drove a train. My birthday is a few days, and my dad died on my birthday. So me and Grace got a lot in common. I didn't know this had anything to do with his father passing. I knew his father passed, but... So, um... And that's got an Allison Chains reaction coming. Don't follow. Um... So, much respect, Greg. I can, I can totally hear that's so. uh that sounds like a fender strap. Um, I didn't look, but that just, I, got, I can hear it. And, um, you know, Rod Stewart's amazing. Um, forever young. Yeah, I like Rod Stewart. Um, I heard him and Elton John got caught in a motel room. Um, playing doctor, but I don't know. They, you know, get back to it. You just keep on going. All you need is faith. Tears is coming. Don't need no ticket. You just Shut up, Rod. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, what was I saying about Rod? Rod the Bod. Um, we're going to go through that again. That whole section. Um, that was beautiful. It's definitely a fender strap. Um, I don't know what to say, man, but that was really beautiful. That uh, I can hear that through Greg's young ears. Before he heard how beautiful Tool was. I mean, Epica, that's his new band. Um, but he's always talked about the Roger Waters single stuff. And I really don't think it's that good. Like, we got similar tastes. But I don't think it was the Roger Waters. Roger's just got the weird factor. David Gilmore's better. Um, even though I kind of like Roger singing better, it's weird. This is Greg's gateway to that. I say that because I had a big 30-minute podcast and I made about marijuana being a gateway drug and the audio sucks so the podcast didn't work out yet. It's coming because I, I, I could talk for days. Literally. Um, back to it. Oh yeah, and the, the part where he's sitting in between all the kids 
on the porch. That was just a cool scene. Sorry, I just went to get my auction and got roped up like a damn horse and fell over the end of my bed. Done a triple somersault break dance maneuver back up to the chair here without being injured. <sighs> Took a little breath, that auction song. I just want to say about the porch. Because, um, like, I don't know, it reminded me of Yellow Lead Better. Because I never understood why the people out on the porch never waved. Which is the only part I could understand until streaming come out and you started getting lyrics, like Greg said. The people on the porch. I seen the people on the porch, but they didn't wave. I don't die, let's get stuff. I'm just joking. We're all done. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? I was throwing him hey. Are you ready? Oh, uh, when the light blinks on off, that means something really freaking cool happened. It's a brand new thing. I just made it up. I might ditch it. I don't know. Um, I need headphones. I'm the train to Jordan, picking up passengers from coast to coast. Faith is the key, open the doors in bottom. There's room for all. YouTube deemed this part of the video copyrighted. So I'm just going to cut out the music and say YouTube is YouTube and I guess it's their rules. So good job, YouTube. Now back to the music. This is really profound. This is, I mean, Rod's kind of acting like the Tom Cruise when the Scientology thing, jumping all over the couches and shit. He's a little funny, but, but, um, 
the good the guitar is is the song. Um, Rod's voice is just in the background somewhere. It's kind of like elevator music. The pitch bands are giving you the feelings. It's not Rod's voice, and I'm not I'm not down on Rod. Okay, he um he tries to he's the bent skill of rock and roll. I believe in you. I mean. I'm going to talk. I got a hole in my butt. I ain't got no teeth. But, um, yeah, they're better than me, but, and I'm judging. But, I'm a reactor. It's my job to judge. Ha! Anyway, my judgment is, um, those pitch bands that, um, the way he flowed through that, uh, maybe that's the progression uh, Greg was talking about, the ascension twice and then back down. I, I think that was the part earlier in the field. Um, I've just been really amazed with the whole, with, with how Greg reacted. I was you know, more, more amazed at, at the reaction to that than in the song, but but I, yeah, this is the first electric guitar I ever heard. First electric guitar I ever heard was like Bob Hat and Blackfoot and Black Sabbath. You know, train, train. So, um, a little different kind of train song. But, again, my daddy drove a train. Over Southern Railroad. 30 years. Let's do this thing. Let's finish it up. We'll back it up just a little bit again. Let's go back, as the charismatic voice would say. Greg will appreciate that. is nasty. Greg, thank you for the suggestion, brother. I have seen the light. Jeff Beck is good. Phenomenal. I'm not Carolyn. I will go into the light. I will go into the dark. I will brave the seas for rock and roll. Because, as my one video said, music is freedom. But that does not mean the musicians are free. They pay a price for telling the truth. But you know what I think about that? The truth don't give a fuck what your opinion is about the musician. So leave them boys and girls alone. Let them sing their song. Much love. Rock in paradise. Love it. Love it. Love you guys. Love each other. Love the ones you hate. It'll make them mad. And you'll win them all. By being nice. It works. <laughs>